Hey fatty! In this video I'm going to explain how calories work and how they're calculated on your little nutrition labels and shit and how it doesn't mean fuck all. So, calories explained. Right off the bat here's the definition of a calorie. So one kcal is the energy to heat up one liter of water by one degree C. Now when you see your little calorie numbers on your labels, when they say calorie it's actually a kcal. That's what they're using there. Now, if you look up the definition of a calorie, there'll be two definitions. One will be how much energy it takes to heat up one, one milliliter of water, or one gram of water by one degree, and the other one's going to be for one liter. And they'll both say calorie. But one actually technically is a kcal. That's the one that's on your labels. So, now that we understand that, a bomb calorimeter. This is a device that they use to figure out calories in food. How it works. They'll put the food in like a capsule and they'll basically have a little explosion. And there's water surrounding this, this capsule. So going back to rule one, so let's say we put in like some almonds in this capsule and they burn them. And how much energy it heats up the water is how many calories there is. That's how it works. Now, there's at least 20% error in those numbers. Maybe even 25. So that's one fucking bad thing about labels. That's why calories are bad on labels because they're going to be out by 20%. Now, this is the most important part. Our bodies are not fucking bomb calorimeters. Okay? They're organic matter. We're not, we don't just burn this shit. So for example, if you burned a certain amount of almonds, and you got a thousand calories with the bomb calorimeter in the water, do you think you're gonna get a fucking thousand calories worth of uptake from those almonds in your body? Fuck no. For starters, you're gonna shit out fucking calories. Your shit has calories. Calories. Our bodies shit out calories. You know how you know this? Because if you go dry out your shit and light it and it'll light on fire. And fire is fucking energy, so that means there is lots of calories still in your shit. So obviously you didn't uptake every calorie that's on your stupid little fucking label. This is what people don't get. A calorie is not a calorie. A bomb calorimeter will show a certain amount of calories, and then those amount of calories don't get uptaken by your body. Your body's not a fucking bomb calorimeter. It's not a fucking fire pit. It works different. It shits out calories. People do not fucking get this. This is why mainstream calorie calculators are a crock of shit. Certain foods now. Let's say the bomb calorimeter burns a certain amount of rice and it's like, says that it's a thousand calories of rice and then the bomb calorimeter burns a certain amount of almonds and it comes out to be a thousand calories via how much it heated up the water. Well, if you ate both those foods due to hormone levels and insulin spikes, etc., etc., and how much how much of those calories you shit out, you're not going to uptake the same amount of calories from each of those foods, even though on paper they are both a thousand calories. You're not going to uptake the same amount. So one's going to make you put on more fat than the other one. It's that fucking simple. Plus, so the bomb calorimeter is going to get the most calories out of any food also. So anything you read on a label, you're never going to hit that calorie number. Not even fucking close. So like if you ate 3,000 calories of almonds based on what it says on the label, you're not even going to be close to uptaking 3,000 calories because of the amount you shit out plus the bomb calorimeter is getting every ounce of caloric intake out of that fucking food when it gets burnt. So the other thing I want to bring up is when you're fat, you don't need to fucking be eating anyway. So a lot of people they are like, oh, this calorie calculator shows that I should be eating 1,300 or 1,500 calories a day. Well, if you're fat, you don't need to eat any more food. you got calories on your gut. You can eat like 100 calories a day, and if your body needs 2,000, where do you think the other 1,900 is going to come from? Your fucking body fat. So as long as you're obese, you don't need to worry about fuck all other nutrition and making sure you get enough nutrients. And if you're fat and you're not doing anything, you can keep the protein count down to fuck all too because you'll never lose muscle when you got lots of fat in your body. Unless you're training really hard. Then you got to have a bit of protein. Now, when you get lean, it changes. When you're like me, I don't have enough fat to burn anymore. So I gotta take in more food. 
But I sure as fuck don't watch the perfect calorie number. All as I do is I watch the fucking scale. And the way I eat, so I eat every 48 hours. So I eat like a pig every second day. And I watch the scale. My scale is lower than it was the last cycle. I just bump up how much food I ate the day before. I use a scale to judge. All I do is I keep my protein constant because I'm lean and I got to hit a certain number. But if you're fat, you don't need to eat fuck all. I got people that I'm coaching that are going to eat like less than 5,000 calories in the whole month. And they're not losing any strength and they feel great. So don't worry about your fucking calories. Don't worry about your fucking calorie calculator if you're fat. All you got to do is cut the food down to fuck all. Make sure you're getting lots of nutrients and eat like fucking one meal of straight vegetables and some butter and a hair of meat if you want to do it every second night and you'll see wicked results. Okay, you don't need to eat. It's simple as that. Calorie calculators are bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Your shit has fucking calories. That's a key takeaway from this. Your shit has calories. And this makes, this is another thing. This is why the whole fucking system's fucked because people pile so much food in their mouths. Do you think that all just turns to body fat? The body fat is actually energy that hasn't been wasted yet because you can still use it. Anything that ends up in the toilet's actually fucking waste that you can never get back. So if you keep eating, you're going to fucking, you know how much calories are going out in the toilet? Because you can only turn so much to body fat, right? You're not going to fucking, if you eat seven pounds of food in one day, it's not all going to just go to body fat, even though your body only used like 2,000 calories and you ate 10,000. Do you think the 8,000 is going to get turned into body fat? Fuck no, it's going to go in the toilet. That's why we waste crazy amounts of food when we're fucking overeating. And that, you can tell that by how, many, how often you have a bowel movement. This is the biggest part of the whole fucked up fucking thing. Because people just waste food. It goes in the toilet and they just keep eating. They're not turning it into fat. Fat can be used. Fat can be used. Shit can't. It's done. It's gone. It's going down to the fucking sewer. So that's calories explained. Don't worry about your fucking calories. Just worry about fucking tracking your goddamn weight on the fucking scale. Get it fucking decent healthy macros. Which you don't even need to worry about fucking protein hardly at all if you're fucking super fat. As I proved, because I fasted for fucking seven days straight, eight days straight on the one fast, and still trained on that one because I had a little extra body fat, didn't eat anything, didn't lose any strength and muscle mass. So did I need any protein for eight days straight? Fuck, I didn't obviously not because I didn't lose any muscle. Still had fucking strength. It's fucking protein is a whole other video I'm going to do. It's so fucking overrated, it's not even funny. So 20% error on any of those labels too, remember that. So whatever, if you were actually counting your calories, whatever you put in your mouth, it's definitely going to be less caloric uptake by your body than what those fucking labels say. Definitely less. That's why if you do watch your calories perfect with your little six meal a day bullshit, and you, you will fucking probably lose weight. But the problem is you're still not getting the benefits of the fasting and somebody that's fat, they're not going to lose any weight because they're always spiking their insulin. Everyone have a great day. Get that fat in you.